Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 5 of my Music Theory for Producers course. In this video, I want to talk about the difference between simple meter and compound meter, the two main types of meter or time signatures. Uh, and we'll also go through many of the various different meters that are available and also talk about some of the ones that are the most common. So first, let's start with simple meter. Um, we've been using 4-4 four, four time uh, quite a bit up uh, to this point. Uh, we earlier referred to it as common time because it's the most common uh, meter or time signature out there. Um, with 4-4 four, four time, the 4-4, four, four, the top number means there's four beats per measure. The bottom four means that the beat is a quarter note. So you have four quarter notes per measure. Um, with all of simple meters, this sort of, the same thing is gonna, going to apply. So 3-4 time means that you have three quarter notes per measure or three beats per measure. 2-4 means you have two quarter notes per measure or two uh, beats per measure. Um, the thing is that the quarter note doesn't always have to be the beat. If you look down here, we have 4-2 time, 3-2 time, 2-2 two, two time, 4-8, 3-8, and 2-8. Um, the only difference between these meters and the ones on top is that these ones have a different denomination for what the beat is. They're still felt and counted the exact same way. So 4-4 four, four time is just 1, 2, 3, 4. 3-4 three, is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And 2-4 is 1, 2, 1, 2. These other ones are, are counted the exact same way. Um, you're just sort of replacing what the value of the beat is. So 4-4, four, 4-2, four, four, and 4-8 are all essentially um, interchangeable. It's just a matter of uh, what your rhythmic values are going to look like. The other thing um, to note is that the values over 2 and values over 8, and by the way, there's values over 16 and 32 and whatnot, um, these are pretty uncommon for popular and modern music. Um, I've seen them a lot in like classical music, um, and that's pretty much it. I've never seen 3-2 time or 4-8 time in popular music. It's just, there's no reason for it. It's a sort of like a compositional or a drafting choice to go with 4-8 over 4-4. Um, so in this series, we'll be taking, we'll basically be using the top row of simple meters more so than anything. Um, also keep in mind, one thing just to point out here, uh, is 2-4 has two beats in it. 4-4 four, four obviously has four beats in it. This, the only difference between 2-4 and 4-4 four, four is you can literally take two, uh, measures of 2-4 time, put them together and get 2-4 or 4-4. Four, four. So they can be used almost interchangeably as well. It's just a matter of how many measures you're going to have in the song. So typically, 2-4 um, is, is used a lot in like March style songs, like um, concert music. So again, it's another one that's not going to be very common in popular music because 4-4 four, four is used for that. 3-4 is uh, pretty common for anything that's got sort of like a waltz style feel to it, like a mm pop pop mm pop pop sort of feel to it. Um, although there isn't a lot of that in popular music either. So in simple meters, each beat is felt and counted separately. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two. And four, four, and three, four are the most common um, simple meters that you're going to see in popular music. So simple meter obviously is pretty simple to understand. Let's jump down to compound meter. Now, the reason why compound meter is called compound meter is because it can be felt in two ways. There's a way you feel the beat, and then there's a way you can count the beat. You know, in 4-4 four, four time and 3-4 time, we feel the beat as 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We feel it that way and count it that way. In compound meter, you can feel the beat in one way, but you count it another way. Let's take 6-8 uh, time, for example. 6-8 means that you have six eighth notes per measure. The way that 6-8 can be counted is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Each eighth note getting the beat as opposed to a quarter note in 4-4. In four, four. The way you actually feel it is like this. Listen to my snaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you actually feel 6-8 in two. You, you feel mm, mm, but there's this underlying subdivision or uh, division of the beat that creates a groove that's separated into groups of threes. So pretty much the common thing with all compound meter is that there's a big beat 
the the one that I was, I was snapping on, and a compound or divided beat that's gr dividing the groove into groups of threes. So that's common among all compound meters. So you'll probably remember in the last video, the very last example I put up on the screen, we were talking about triplets, and we said with triplets, you can take groups of three eighth notes or sixteenth notes, and you can group them together in pulses of three or groups of three. If you use compound meter instead of simple meter, you can actually omit the use of triplets altogether. I like to always say that using um, eighth note triplets is kind of like taking a little chunk of compound meter and injecting it in simple meter. In uh, compound meters, there's no need for triplets because the natural feel of the song already has that triplet feel to it. Um, so 12-8 is four groups of three eighth notes. It's the way it's felt. So you can count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, but it's felt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, nine, eight is three groups of eighth notes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And six, eight, like we said before is, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So where we actually feel the beat, the big beat, is the same as simple meter. Notice we had four, three, and two. Guess what? You have four big beats, three big beats, and two big beats in six, eight time. It's just that the division of the beat is separated into groups of threes. Um, there's also other uh, options down here, like 12, four, nine, four, nine, 16, 12, 16. Basically, the same thing applies as with simple meter. Um, values over two and eight are not common in simple meter, and values over four and eight or four and sixteen are not common in compound meter. Again, unless you go look at some concert music or classical music, it's not extremely common. You're almost always in modern music going to see compound meters have a denominator of eight, of eighth notes. Um, and again, nothing. If, just like I said above with simple meter. Nothing uh, affects the the way it's felt or counted. It's counted exactly the same. 1216 is essentially identical to 128. It's not any faster. It's actually just counted. It's counted the same, just looks different. So that's really the main thing to keep in mind here. And I've said this before, and I'll probably say it again. Again, this comes from um, hundreds of years of tradition um, of traditional music. You know, it's just there are certain things that um, in traditional music that don't seem, it doesn't seem logical to, you know, to have three, four different ways to notate something, but there is, you know. Um, so that's simple meter and compound meter. Let's listen to um, some examples of each one. Um, so over here, I've got an example of 4-4 four, four time. And this is actually, I, pull, I put this one up here because we had talked about um, Billy Jean being a good example of 4-4 four, four time. Um, this is sort of like a rough interpretation of Billie Jean, of the main idea and the bass line from Billie Jean. So let's give this a listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So Billie Jean's got like an eighth note bass line with these sort of like chords, these syncopated chords. Uh, but the overall feeling is 4-4 four, four time. So that one's pretty simple. Let's check out one in 3-4 time. This one's got sort of like a mm, pop, pop, mm, pop, pop waltz feel to it. Um, that's really the main thing that 3-4 uh, is, is used for. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then over here I have an example of 2-4. This has the stereotypical m pa m pa m pa m pa little march feel in it. So it's got this quarter note bass line, you know, the bum 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 that sort of feel to it in the bass line. And the chords are on the up beats. So you've got a eighth note rest followed by an eighth note. So they are off off the beat most of the time. One, two, one, two, 
one, two, one, two. And again, we could very easily take this uh, take this two four example, and we could put it in four four, and it's still gonna make perfect sense. All we're doing is we're just more or less, you know, um, doubling each measure of two four, or, or you know, putting two measures of two two four back to back and creating a measure of four four. So again, two four and four four can be interchangeable. Uh, let's take a look at twelve eight. This is similar to the example I did at the end of the last video, where we've got the sort of driving bump 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 bump, bump in the chords. Um, and this is really a better way to notate um, this type of music as opposed to the triplet example that I gave in the last uh, in the last uh, video. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. One two three four. One two three. A good example of a popular tune um, that's since 12.8 is uh, Hold the Line by Toto. It's got a similar feel to this with the right hand sort of driving that 12.8 eighth note uh, idea. Um, and that like Michael Jackson's The Way You Make Me Feel is also in 12.8, but the bass line is actually what's driving the groove there, not the chords. All right, let's take a look at a 9.8 example. 9.8 um, is... A little less common, well, actually pretty pretty uncommon in popular music. Um, a lot of rock and roll guys will use nine eight as like an odd meter, where it's not it's not divided into these groups of threes. It's divided into groups of twos and threes to create sort of like an like a an asymmetrical uh, time signature. But we'll talk about things like 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 that five eight and seven eight and nine eight used that way uh, down the road. We'll talk about that later. Um, here we're specifically talking about it uh, divided into three groups of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Yeah, I think nine eight is one of the uh, sort of criminally underused meters that I think really sounds cool. All right. And lastly, we've got 6-8 here. And on purpose, just to prove a point, um, I used the exact same example that I used from 12-8. So you notice if I go from 12-8 to 6-8, look what happens. All the notes are the same. We just have twice as many measures. So it's the exact same, uh, exact same example from 12-8. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And there you go. So I hope this video has helped to more or less demystify what the different meters and time signatures are. Um, and also just to let you know that basically 95% of music are higher of popular music is going to be in 4, 4, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12, 8. I would say 95% and higher is in one of those four meters. And like I said, there are all other deviations and other ways to, to write things out. But th this, these of uh, six right here that I showed you are really the most common uh, ways of writing out popular music. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.